All right, just giving you a quick look of um, the books that I did pick up at the thrift store today. I will say this though, um, two things. One, uh, I didn't clue in until I got to the cash, so I'll have to remember this, uh, is um, if you buy four books, you can get the fifth one free, you know, same price or less. So I was like, oh shoot, I think I'm okay. Like I wasn't, you know, buying like a, in a multiples of three or something, you know, it's like, oh, that would have sucked. Um, I, uh, se well, I guess three things. Uh, secondly, they're no longer as cheap uh, as they used to be. Um, you'll see what I got, and as far as I'm concerned, that's a lot of money for a thrift store. I spent $74 Canadian, and you'll see what I got. And I'm like, holy cow, Like that's a lot of money, man, uh, for, I think, not very many books. Um, and the third thing is, is if you were into World War II, um, Get your butt over to the uh, the Searville Road um, uh, value village as quickly as possible because oh my God there was uh, just an obscene amount of World War Two books there. Um, yep. So I, these are the ones I saw, and I mean sometimes uh, I'll be honest with you, I do feel bad like I'm a hoarder or something uh, picking them up. I'm like Chris, maybe there's somebody else uh, there that uh, would like to pick up some World War One books too, and you're you're just you're hoarding it all. Uh, you're being a bad person or something. I, I don't know what to do really because uh, I want them. So, you know, that's the way it goes. Uh, so this one looks interesting. It's British Society in the Era of the Great War. I thought, uh, I took a quick look inside, and I'm like, okay, this is, uh, yet again, to get some more stuff in. Um, uh, this is like a battle. Th it's a full -on it seems a bit light or something, but it's going to be inter fascinating. To, uh, well, I'm glad to have it. Uh, uh, Canada in the Great War. I didn't see it. Just grabbed it. Um... This one, holy moly, this is going to be really interesting. Um, the Reckoning Canadian Prisoners of War in the, in the Great War. Um, I also did see, I didn't watch it, but it was a, um, I, I saw a YouTube uh, video, something about some ex, some execution of prisoners of war, uh, Canadian prisoners of war in World War II. I don't know anything about it, but I was like, ooh. Um, this one, um, First World War in British History. This looks, uh, um, I'll just look at the beautiful picture, but it's got lots of stats. And I went, okie dokie. Well, as if I wasn't going to grab it. I mean, come on. Uh, you know, it's not like this was like an extra incentive to grab it. I mean, it's got World War One. I. I can grabbing it. That's basically it. Um, and then this one here, this look, looks pretty darn good. Oh, based on a BC program. Interesting. Nice big text. All right, and then these ones look more like a, a battle books or something. Um, and they've got, uh, well, it's in great shape. It looks, uh, it looks like it's going to get into, like, extreme detail, um, I hope. Of, uh, so there's Vimy Ridge, and then it has uh, the Messonnet Ridge. Um, uh, oh, 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 oh. That, that's my... I don't want to show you that book right off the bat. That I almost screamed. Well, I, I you know, gesticulated. That's for sure. Something. Uh, uh, Canadian uh, Oxford Book of Canadian. This looks really neat. It's more about like a lot of uh, just uh, notes and stuff. Um, like um, uh, a lot of first person stuff, I think. So this is gonna. Um, yeah, I'm really interested in that. Um, uh, the Battle, uh, the Messonnet Ridge again. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it is Messonnet. I'll have to check it. Uh, check if that's how it's pronounced. It's interesting. Now I'm, uh, all my French uh, uh, schooling is going to ho hopefully come back again. This is one of the books I um, saw early on, and I was like, "Whoa! I this is going to be a dandy." Um, Jesus Christ! Ah. Uh. Oh, wait until you see one of the games I picked up. I was like, oh, I'm, you're coming home. I was like, oh, my God, you have old Newton written all over you. Um, I will say, oh, here's, uh, I got this relatively cheap. Three bucks. Um, just a bunch of uh, playing pieces. Uh, so, uh, these guys are really interestingly carved. At first, I was like, okay, it's this the typical, um, I don't know if it's uh, called the Staunton uh, uh, version. But then I looked at them carefully. I was like, oh, it was actually the pawns. And I was like, these are an interesting looking never seen them like that before so and then uh, the knights look neat i was like oh right on so um uh, just look at all the plane i mean for three dollars come on and then these thingamajigs so i was like okay great you're coming home um, then 
This guy I just picked up because it was uh, well, it wasn't it was cheap as well, three dollars. It's more for the numbers, obviously. Um, I'll show you them too quickly. Yeah, we all have some fun playing around. So I thought, you know, I don't know if I'll use them for Devout Krieg or whatever, but uh, they sure do look good. I don't know about you, but it, they've got a lot of potential. Especially with this little dot here. I'm like, oh boy, oh boy. Um, you know, I could use that as, a, as an indicator for somewhere else on the map, or I don't know. But we'll see what happens. This one, come on, man. Wait, do you see that? I went, are you kidding me? Uh, it's too bad it's not 8x8, eight eight, but tough. Um, look at this! Cubic or something, but uh, it's this. I went, oh my god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is awesome. Look at this. It's three of them, just like my freaking old Newton, for God's sakes. But much better done. And I was like, okay. You're coming home, and then I'll show you my the book that I just was like, you've got to be joking. This is like, I, I was just like, you you got to be joking. Look at this. The Warlords, Hindenburg and Ludendorff. I was like, whoa. All right. So, um, look at that. Looks in great, great shape. Yeah, the binding, yeah, still looks good, surprisingly. So, wow, eh? look at them all. There's Falconheim. Oh, Bethwig, uh, Holwig, or whatever. I can never say his name properly. Bethwig, Holwig, something. Anyways, that's it. Um, hope you're having a great time, and uh, I'm going to go put this away. Yeah, $74 Canadian for all that stuff. Like, I mean, come on. That's a bit, I think it's a bit much. Anyways, hope you're having a great time. See ya.